Grief is a powerful and many-layered emotional response. Today's books, Flowers of Pakistan by Sana Masood and Where Are We Now by Kyung Eun Yoo, immerse us in personal expressions of grief and the questions and memories left behind after loss. Sana Masood is a Pakistani-American artist based in Brooklyn, New York, through painting, illustration, textiles, and zines, her work regularly explores grief and its non-linear healing process. A yearning for maternal love, connection, and a sense of belonging is evident in her works. Flowers of Pakistan is a multi-layered book about grief, memory, and connections to family homelands. After her mother passed away, Masood inherited a plot of land in Pakistan. Having grown up in the U.S., she wondered, what does it mean to own land in a country that she is from, but where she did not grow up or reside? Masood explained that while thinking about this question, she considered the soil. What might be the simplest form of thinking about soil? What grows in Pakistan? She also thought about how her mother loved plants. Each page of the book presents a different flower that grows in Pakistan, paired with a running text of Masood's memories connected to each flower. To continue her own language learning, Masood included the name of each flower in English and Urdu. The imagery evokes the complicated layers of memory. The photographs suggest fact, while the sketchy drawings bring to mind the subjectivity of memory. The negative spaces reflect gaps in our memory. Grounded in the flowers, Masood's text lifts us through time and perspective, beginning from herself, opening up to look broader at her culture and family, and then closing in very tight on her mom. After reading through the book, I went back to the first image, what are these blue circles in the marigold necklaces? Masood shared with me her story that explains them. As a child, her parents went to Hajj, an annual Islamic pilgrimage to Mecca, Saudi Arabia, which is the holiest city for Muslims. The Hajj is a required religious duty for most Muslims at least once in their life. Masood's parents told her that when they returned, they would put a necklace of pool around her neck. In Urdu, pool means flowers, but Masood heard the English word pool. Confused, she couldn't understand how a swimming pool would become a necklace. Masood doesn't give us this answer in the book, but these blue circles reference the confusion between swimming pools and flowers. I appreciate that she invites us close to her grief, but reserves some parts for herself. Masood explained that she makes work about grief colorful, in part to reflect that grief is not a singular emotion. In Flowers of Pakistan, she sensitively brings together teaching herself about a language and land that she felt disconnected from, working through the many layers of grief, and the desire to feel close to her mom. Before immigrating to the U.S. with her family, Kyung Eun Yoo studied cartoons and comics at the Korean Animation High School in South Korea. She continued her art studies in California and is now based in New York. Yoo works across many media, creating images from her memories. Her process of remembering and transforming memories into visual stories helps her to cope and live with them. 
Created during a residency at Women's Studio Workshop in 2019, Where Are We Now addresses the aftermath of her mother's passing as Yu struggled with grief, depression, and her father's alcohol abuse. The book is composed of memories that stayed in Yu's head. She explained, one image pulled another image, like a memory reminds you of another memory. Water or liquid are prevalent throughout the book. This father figure is constantly drinking and melting. Yu has explained that she chose this repeating element based on the Korean expression that translates to someone being soaked in sadness. Where Are We Now follows a rhythmic layout, but the narrative is not a straight line. The book reads more like connected but non-linear memories of the struggles you experienced as a member of an immigrant family experiencing devastating loss. I am immersed in the world you is depicting. The vast white space around the panels and text focuses my attention. And then the cluster of repeating squares on this oversized paper overwhelms me. Sometimes these pattern pages become a flurry of active shape and line. I feel my own anxiety rising in response. Others have a more linear direction across the page. These are somber moments at her mother's bedside in the hospital and the funeral home. Time slows down. Looking close, I see that the four repeated images are sometimes actively changing. These are reduction prints. To create these compositions, you printed the four square linoleum plates. Then she carved away more of the linoleum and printed them on the paper. She repeated this process again and again and again until she filled the page with images that have shifted. Yu's reduction cuts shift the black and white spaces, skillfully reflecting the progression and emotional impact of loneliness, loss, and pain. My body gets heavy as I see how much grief has carved into these characters. We see difficult moments of losing her father to alcohol many times, emphasizing the ongoing struggle. They were both drowning. Yu also shares the burden of being the translator in the family. She left this particular dialogue untranslated from the original Korean. Readers experience some of the struggle of not knowing the language and missing out on such important conversations. I was intrigued to learn that you created this book to be read in both directions. Beginning with the images of her father being drunk and melting, the images move in toward the center from both ends of the book, then cross over each other and continue to the other end. You explained that she wanted the entire story to stay within the pages without a definite beginning or ending. It's a powerful move, keeping the story in a cycle that remains between the covers. Yu harnesses these images, exerting agency and control over her grief and memories. Flowers of Pakistan and Where Are We Now explore some of the difficult questions and impacts these artists felt after losing their mothers at a young age. Through their own distinct styles, Masood and Yu generously share with us the unique challenges of their losses and grief across language, country, family, and memory.